Aha! Dinky do, it is me, Scotty McLean. Excellent stuff. A very good Sunday evening to you and a very warm welcome to our Sunday evening pop-up. This is the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching. And, of course, we're live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Lovely to have you with us tonight, of course. Very, very bright lighting, so I'm just going to see what I can do about that, see if we can change that a little bit for you so it's not quite so bright and you're not getting that straight in your eyes how's that guys is that better there we are dinky do i say it's scotty mcclue the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet good evening says karen mercury good evening says christopher love hello says derek miller good evening pal i hope you've had a good day says thomas hamilton we have thomas thank you and i hope you have gavin mcvicker evening scotty says steve burrows evening steve excellent stuff Christopher Love, Julianne Scott, hello Scotty, Julianne's down in Wales, and that's just fantastic, I say. And uh, good evening Scotty, dinky do, dinky do, lovely to have you all with us, of course, fantastic. Fred Walton, welcome, welcome, I hope you're okay Fred. Mark Gibbert and Atlanta Smith, what a busy, busy night tonight, my dears. Hello, says Stephen Nunnerly, hello Stephen, John Wilson is with us, excellent John, welcome, welcome. And Steve Burrows, welcome, 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 I say. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. Here we are for one hour of superb, scintillating information, education and entertainment for every single one of you from me, Scotty McClue. Now then, Craig Hastings, hello, can't wait till you go on the radio, says Thomas Hamilton. Thomas, I haven't told everybody yet. We're keeping that secret till tomorrow morning. Hi, Scotty, says Ian Fitzpatrick. Dinky do, Ian. Lovely to have you with us. And, of course, there is a story there. Scotty McClue is going back on the radio. You've all got your wish. And uh, who else have we got? Anne-Marie Cronley fan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're all watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, saying dinky do to every single one of you. Lots of sharing tonight, guys. Now, I'm not set up for sharing, so you have to do the lot. All right? Very, very busy tonight. Bit maxed out, but always got time for you guys. Shirley Cooper, Andrew Hiddleston, dinky do. David Hennessy, welcome. Welcome, welcome, I say. Uh, evening, Scotty. Have you signed off the door yet? Can you wait until you're on the old radio, says Matthew Roberts. Thank you, Matthew. What a lovely thing to say. So there we go. Hi, Scotty. How's you? You're a star, says Andrew Hiddleston. Thank you, Andrew. Very much appreciated. Scotty, good luck with Nation Radio. No doubt it'll be a huge success. It already is, Lee, and it's just starting out. Fantastic radio station. Tune in 96.3. If you live in Glasgow in the west of Scotland, tune in to 96.3. Stephen Rodriguez watching Brian Wilson. Let's break some more records, Scotty. I know. Absolutely. Just think how radio is going, right? This week, when a massive star went from uh, Radio 4, BBC Radio 4, to LBC, and another massive star went from Radio 2 to um, to Virgin Radio, and then Scotty McClure is going to Nation Radio. So there's something very, very big happening in UK radio, and when I find out myself, I'll tell you. So there you are. We will be able to hear you in Manchester, Fred, of course, Fred, but you'll need to go online. You can go on the TuneIn app. Nation Radio Scotland. Stuart McKenna, dinky do, how are you, says Kevin Wiggum. Excellent, Kevin, lovely to have you with us. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm going back on the radio with Nation Radio Scotland, right? A massive new radio station that's just opened up in Glasgow. So wonderful stuff. Olivia and I are very happy for you getting a new show, says Natasha Jane. So happy for you and for us all. I hope we all enjoy it. You'll need to start phoning. That's the most important thing. We must get you phoning. And I've got the telephone number for you. Anyway, it's 0141 8110475. So get on with that. Very, very important. Martin Rose, what? Watching. Thank you, Drew Martin. James Smith's Skelly is watching. James Smith Skelly, how are you? The light's really bright, Scotty. Is it too bright? 
Shall I see that do something about it? So there we go. See if we can angle it off a bit. Yes, I think there we are. We've spent so much on lighting since the early days. And you guys have helped out with your little bits into PayPal and GoFundMe. Thank you for that. Five are here, five are there. All makes such a difference. Ten pounds, twenty pounds, fifty pounds. Somebody popped in a hundred pounds. Wonderful, folks. That's allowed me to get a nice clear picture and some decent lighting. Big shimmy here in Scotland. Well done. Uh, are you still doing this show, Sir Julianne? Yes, Julianne. It's only a Friday and Saturday. I'm on Nation Radio, and we're on from 10 o'clock sharp till midnight. So two hours, two hours. All right, my dear. And uh, two hours on a Friday night and a Saturday night. And uh, you'll be able to phone in. Are you able to phone in from anywhere? That's the telephone number. We'll get that to you. I want every single one of you to do me a big, big favor, though. Can you like Nation Radio's page? Right? Nation Radio Scotland have got their own Facebook page. And I think there's about five or 600 of you have popped on there. If the rest of you could go on and like that, do it tonight. And, uh, you know, that'll get the figures up for the morning. Evening, Scotty, says Keith Glasgow. Dinky you do, Keith. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to the Scotty McClue Sunday night pop-up. This is show number 112. Now, I did say to you, I have been levelling with you, because I did say to you during all that time, uh, Pat McCulley, McClue on in Glasgow on Friday and Saturday nights. That'll be fun. Yes, absolutely. Can you send me the number, please, says Kevin Wiggum. Write it down, Kevin. 0141-811-0475. Just write it down, all right? Dinky do, Scotty McClure says, Wadge. Excellent. Scotty, any chance of getting my other account back, says uh, Cy Weirmouth. What's that one, Cy? What account have you lost? So there you are. You'll need to tell us. I don't know. I don't know your Facebook setup. So there you are. Uh, but wonderful stuff. So Stephen, oh, Stephen Wearmouth. Yes, I think you've got it back, Stephen. So there you are. Scotty, can your first show be about the permanently offended snowflakes so we can get ripped into them, says Derek Miller. So there you are. Congrats, Scotty. Great to have a bit of class on the wireless, says David Turner. Well, I feel British Radio's been in a long, big sleep for about, you know, 15 years or something like that. Um, Arthur Davis, dinky do, welcome, welcome, welcome. Things are moving in commercial radio, and I am so pleased to be able to announce that I'm joining Nation Radio Scotland. Nation Radio Scotland. Stephen Weirmouth, right, Stephen, we'll sort that out for you. I think you're back, lad, check it. Uh, we'll give you a call, can he wait, says Natasha Jane. The legend's back on the radio, and we can't wait. Wendy Walker, dinky do, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Scotty McClure welcoming every single one of you. Guys, can we have an early share tonight? I want four or five shares tonight, but you need to be getting stuck into liking Nation Radio Scotland's page. Very important. And uh, 0141 0475. That's you, Mark Gippert. You're absolutely right. Gippert or Gippert? Did we say, did we discuss this before, Mark? I ask you. So there we are. So we'll be discussing all sorts of subjects. And of course, you guys will be joining in the agenda. Remember, uh, try to stay clear of the politics, the football, the religion, all that sort of stuff. No swearing, of course, allowed. Not that you do that anyway. Uh, Scotty, the nation's been needing you on the radio for some time. Brian Wilson, you've been saying that, and I thank you, and I thank everybody who has been so encouraging. So there you are. Can't wait for a wee debating show about keeping it real in Scotland. Yes, we do need to keep it real in Scotland, and I think that's important. No second names, no slagging off businesses. It's not a knocking shop. So you just go on with your first name, and uh, as long as we've got something we could call you, it doesn't have to be your name. Will you still be able to be on Facebook? Facebook, yes, Karen, we'll do our Facebook. We might even have a bit of Facebook during the show and let you see what goes on behind the scenes. Looking forward to hearing you on the old wireless, Scotty. 
Will you be doing your live feeds? I will, John Glenn. But can every single one of you watch the videos and share them? It all depends on you guys how good the show is. Danny McNeil, Dinky Doo, you're welcome, Scotty, says Brian Wilson. I thank you, Brian Wilson, and all those of your ilk who have shown such faith in Scotty McClure's Nightline that it gets asked back on the radio. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Yes, that's what I meant. It's great news. Yes, we can do that. Nation Radio page is light, says Matthew Roberts. If everybody can do it, Matthew, and share it and share it and share it round. I would quite like to see a thousand people on there by the end of this show. Radio is back, says John Wilson. Yes, it is. It should never have been away, John. So there you are. I think we were eating into the competition to such an extent that uh, something happened along the line because you would never, ever, ever not have Scotty McClue on your station for any reason. Do you know what I mean? Because there is no reason. There's nothing I've said. There's nothing I've done in the last 26 years that would stop somebody saying, I want Scotty McClue, but it needed to be the right programmer. Somebody that came along and said, that's the one for me. So there you are. So there you are. Great stuff, Alan Coltart. Nation Page Light, says Lee Fern. Thanks. Nation Page Light, says Greg MacArthur. Hello, Karen, says Wendy Walker. They're having a wee chat to themselves. That's absolutely fine. We don't mind that. So there you are. Uh, the only thing is, if I'm doing Facebook Live during the show, I need to have on my bonnet. Bonnet. There they are, my bonnet. And uh, that light is very strange tonight. I've never ever seen that before. I'm going to muck about with it a wee bit, guys. So just bear with me. I've never actually seen it so bright as that. Uh, very, very bright. So there we go. Wonderful. Do you like the lighting, Jake? It's good stuff tonight. Excellent stuff. Um, so there we are. Hello, Wendy, says Karen Mercury. Dinky too. They're chatting to each other. Wadge says, how's the week been? The week's been fantastic, Wadge. It's been absolutely hectic. I only heard on Friday about the new show on Nation Radio, so big stuff there. So we need to get it shared, get it out there so everybody's aware. But tune in to 96.3 if you can. If you're in Glasgow, the west of Scotland, tune in to it now. Five Nation Radio on today, Scotty. If you enjoyed the music, glad it's not all just this modern stuff. I have it on all the time now so I can hear what's happening. Derek McIntyre is on The Breakfast Show, so you'll be able to hear him. John Mulgrew, all these big, big names in Scottish radio. It's fantastic. So there you go. How's it going, Scotty? This is Barry Corkendale. Nice library, Scotty. A wee change of scenery tonight. Yes, I thought I'd take you somewhere nice tonight for a wee change because a lot of you have to look at my coupon up on the wall there. Uh, so there you are. Are you watching anything on Netflix? I don't have Netflix yet, Wadge, because um, I hadn't got started into all that, but I'll have a look. I'd quite like to see The Crown. Is The Wizard coming back, Scotty? Yes, The Wizard will be back. Excellent stuff. The lovable laddie of the big switchboard, the wizard, or the lovable lassie of the big switchboard. I've still to find out who's coming back. I've left all that up to the bosses, you know what I mean? I don't get involved in that. Derek's eating Xmas pudding. Xmas, very strange, isn't it? Scotty, that book on fly fishing by G.R. Hartley behind you. Is that a first edition? <laughs> That'll be worth a bob or two, eh? Wadge is having a good old smile there. The wizard will be back. I, I don't know if it's politically correct to whip the wizard. We'll have to check that with the bosses. Mm. Looks like you have cash converters and you've gone to buy all the CDs. That's it. Penny each. No problem at all. Uh, read it, says Matthew Roberts. Excellent stuff. Do you get that frequency in the Western Isles, Scotty? Long cell deed of any. You might struggle with 96.3 in the Western Isles. What I would suggest is that you get yourself onto the TuneIn app, Nation Radio Scotland. They're also on digital audio broadcasting. They're online. They're on your smart speakers. It is a fabulous, fabulous station. Tune in now. It's on now. 96.3. Right, don't play it down through this, of course, because that would give us a copyright problem. 
Hi, question. Do you think the government's run by another government and all the voting that goes on is pointless? Well, it's very, very strange because Scotland's never been big on Conservatives, but they've always really had Conservatives apart when they've not, you know? The demeaning men back in the inhabitant of Law Village. What does that say? Sorry, sorry. Scotty, get the crackpot who was shouting about demeaning men back on or the inhabitant of Law Village. Oh, yes. If you go on to YouTube and you put in Scotty McClue Law Village, you'll find out what Derek Miller is talking about. What's happening, Scotty? Good news of the show, says Scott Dixon. Yes, I thank you, Scott. Dinky-doo, and thank you for that. Well, Scotty, you proved a lot of tools and haters wrong, Scotty boy. Well done, says John Wilson. Well, these haters will always go hating people. Do you know what I mean? I've never hated anybody. You see, because you're shutting off an avenue of learning. Even the one bad person I've met in my life who took money off me, I've, you know, I've never gone down the hate road. What's the point in that? Do you see what I mean? Uh, so there we are. Dinner the Doug. Will this be the nation station, Scotty? This is already the nation's station. Nation Radio Scotland. The station for the nation. I say, Ronnie Stevenson, good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Ronnie Stevenson. One of the finest men I've ever met. How are you? And Dinky Do. Scotty, what's tonight's topic, says Greg MacArthur. Lots and lots to discuss tonight, Greg. We're looking at banning smoking in Scotland. Right, there we are. Who's this I've missed there? Michael Piverell. Oh, you're there, Scotty. Good evening to you, young sir. You're late. That's naughty. So there you are. So it will be called, says George Finlay, no, George Finlay, it won't be called after any football side because we won't be discussing football. They were, unless it's Glasgow United. <coughs> Would Mr. Martin be back in the show, says Tony Mack. Well, who knows who will call? Mr. Martin may well call. They are, Scotty, how did you manage to break into the Mitchell Library? <laughs> Mitchell Library, Stephen Mitchell. Prize crop cigarettes, remember them. Banning the fags, says Karen Merkey. Yes, I would like to see Scotland non-smoking. Scotty, what's your take on folk who hog the outside lane when there's not overtaking? Shocking, shocking, shocking. They should be banned from driving. They should be pulled in by the police, put off the road, a lifetime ban. There we are. Smoked for years, gave up eight years ago. Don't miss it. Ban it all you like, Scotty. Don't miss it at all. I say ban it, Scotty, says Stephen Weirmouth. I've now not smoked for 20 years. I think that's uh, that's pretty good, actually. Coming up 20 years, and I don't miss it at all. Never even have. And when I took a light refreshment on a Friday night, which I won't be able to do now, of course, and I don't anyway, then, um, you know, I, I didn't even get put off by people smoking. Well, sweary words be allowed, Scotty, says Dean of the Dog. No sweary words. All right. Should vapes be banned? I would ban the lot. Ban, ban, says Faisal. Uh, smoking should be banned. End of a filthy, disgusting habit. So there you are. Peter Martin's watching. Dinky do, Peter. Good going, Scotty. Well done, says Stephen Wearmouth. Do you like banana rolls? Uh, Derek, Jimmy Walker does. The bananas are very, very nice food. I enjoy it, although somebody told me, I used to like two bananas in the morning, but somebody told me one because they're quite difficult to digest, but I've not found that. It's a dirty, 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 dirty habit, says Matthew Roberts. Quite right, Matthew. Spot on there. Hopefully you'll bring the good banter to the radio when you did 25 years ago. George Finlay, take a look at this. Take a swatch at my coupon. I have not aged or changed. And all the prophets of doom that go, the world has changed. I hope you'll be aware of that. The world is still the world. We need to bring it back to the world we want to live in. I used to smoke about 20 days as Lee Fern, having gradually cut down and down. I currently have one or two a day. I agree, of course. Uh, it addicted, it's hard to stop. It is hard to stop until you get your mind right, then it's the easiest thing in the world. Get a swear box, pound a bad word, Scotty, straight to charity, says Alistair King. No, we'll have to...
cut them all off, guys. Slightly different from the internet when I just block the, the baddies. So there we are. I think I'm doing well. The leaf fern, you're doing magnificently well. But if you can give up that one or two and just get off it, you don't need it. You don't need that. You don't need to give your money. I checked out. Somebody said it's almost eight quid a packet for fags. When I started, it was like three and sixpence. Uh, replying to Karen, thank you, Karen. What do you think about the government hitting the diesel cars hard? That was a big, big mistake, right? A lot of confusion about it. <laughs> for a start, I think it was Gordon Brown that put duty on diesel for boats. Now, the little ships that helped us at Dunkirk, boats should not be paying duty on diesel fuel, all right? So marine diesel should go back to being without duty, I would say. That was going around after about years and years and years. Uh, so there we are. Brilliant big man. Wonderful. The only problem, oh, you're going so quick. Do you think these things are? Thanks, Scotty, for the LinkedIn ad. Uh, glad you're doing well and looking well. Ten pounds a packet. It was easy for me to stop. Ten pounds. I hadn't realized it was a tenner for a packet of fags. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world sort broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. And in less than two weeks' time, Friday the 28th of September, you will hear me, Scotty McClure, live on 96.3 in Glasgow and the west of Scotland. A massive radio station, brilliant signal, brilliant sound, outstandingly superb music, and Scotty McClure on a Friday and Saturday for two hours, 10 till midnight. You can't really say further than that unless you can't pronounce your Fs or your THs. And uh, it's a while since we've been back in the radio in Scotland. And um, I did work for one company, but there was a problem with the phones. So we're only on a, a couple of nights, I think. Couldn't get the phones working. Uh, I'm telling you, uh, Greg, rolls in banana. Yes, a roll in banana. It sounds very nice. Uh, somebody told me that they put a pie in a roll. And then you could get a roll and black pudding. Wedge Hashway, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Guys, tell me, a friend of mine, a colleague was saying to me at work that the fry up is a thing of the past. Do you agree with that? Has the fry up had its day? I ask you, can we share, please? Can everybody watching share, 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 share right now? Bring back the phone in, Scotty. Well, we're bringing it back, of course. A couple of weeks' time. I hope the lives will continue at the very popular Scotty. Yes, of course they will. Scotty, I said Nicholas should have been at the square on Saturday. It caused a rammy. What do you think yourself? Well, it depends. She was maybe very, very busy with other stuff. Hey, Scotty, what's the red book behind your head by your right ear? Right ear. Somebody said I had no ears when I looked straight on. It's interesting. Uh, love a roll and crisps, says Gamberg. Wadge says 96.3, 96.3 Wadge, but in Glasgow and the west of Scotland, if you're out with that. So what we got? Joseph Gibbons, rubbish. What do you mean rubbish? Rubbish about what? Grill up is healthier, Scotland. Uh, Scotty, Scotty, Greg MacArthur, excellent stuff. Um, I'm off on Fridays, says Wedge, good stuff. A fry up is life, says George Finlay. Oh dear, I've touched the nerve here. Scotty, do you think they should legalize cannabis for people who have arthritis? Medical cannabis, that's a big one. I don't like the addition of any chemicals to the system that aren't produced naturally. Still get a full Scottish in my local cafe in Craig End, says Eddie Doby Senior. Four pounds. Good value, Eddie, I'll tell you that. Oh no, the fry up lives in my house Saturday mornings before the football, says Dave Harley. True, can't see your ears, so they are, maybe they've gone. They've got to see, I don't need them, because I can read what you're saying. I don't have to listen, you see. Uh, no chance, the fry up's the future, says Steve Burrows. Right, 
I've obviously touched on earth here. We might make this our first subject. Nice jumper, lad. Thank you very much. Scotty, uh, BT have just employed another 20 engineers. Six miles of cables getting ready for your phone in, says Ian Walker. It will be quite an interesting night. Uh, so there we are. Thank you, guys. Jacqueline Trotter, dinky do. Uh, rubbish that the fry-ups had its day, says Joseph Gibbons. Right, Joseph. No problem. There's a colleague at work, and he said to me, he said, Sunday mornings are different now. He says, the fry-ups are a thing of the past. Uh, you don't have any ears. How do you manage to hear? Eh? What did you say, Lamia? So there you go. Scotty, you're so funny, says Wedge. Well, I don't set out to be Wedge, of course. You can't even beat a heart attack and a plate in the morning, says Alistair King. I'm sure you can, Alistair. So there you go. Cheers, everybody. Is the water the thing of the past, or are we all right with this? Here, here today, gone tomorrow. What about folk that take the Tesco trolley home with them and leave it all over the place? Yes, I don't like that, supermarket trolleys. I've taken them out the river and taken them back in my car. They're already using morphine for severe pain, so in that respect, no harm using cannabis for medicinal purposes, as long as some of it doesn't go missing. I think you should join Still Game. You've got the banter. George Finley, apparently I'm too late. Still Game have done the last series. So there you are. I was hoping to get a wee, a wee cameo in the pub at Craig Lang. So there you are. You should try stand-up comedy. I did watch. I was asked to sit down. Uh, is that vodka in the glass, says McKay? Uh, well, that's for you to think about and me to find out. Uh, full Scottish includes roll or toast to your coffee. Now, I can remember being in the trains. You can't even smoke morphine, says Matthew Roberts. Well, morphine, interesting. Mm. Long live the fry up, says John Wilson. Hi, Scon McClue, says Frank Stewart. Hello, Frank. Dinky do from me, Scotty McClue, to every single one of you. If you've just joined us, folks, a warm welcome. If you're watching in India, Africa, Canada, America, Russia, China, Japan, the Arctic, the Antarctic, Come and join us. You're very, very welcome. But tell us where you're watching. How does this bonnet get all that light on it? It's very strange. The light is so bright tonight, guys. I'll see what I can do about it. See if I can take it away for you. Is that any better? Not really. It's still booming out. There's different settings, though. Let me see if I can get you another setting on this, will I? Oh, is that better? How about that? There. That looks quite natural, guys. What do you think? How's that for lighting? Scotty, second shelf down, a red book, My Life in the Brew, says Ian Walker. Oh, stop it. Bye. <laughs> stop it, Ian Walker. Scottish food's fantastic. No, it's so unhealthy. Fried breakfast. Fat that comes out of sausages and black pudding blocks up your arteries. Bananas are good, not too many, not too high in sugar. They help you sleep, apparently, as well. And it says see more, but I can't see more because... Uh, must be that halo, Scott, is this Paul McCulley. It's, it's, I can't, you can't see the checks on my bonnet. Uh, medicinal cannabis doesn't contain the THC. Uh, so there we are. Not much, Gordon, says Wadge. A blank screen would be better, says Ronnie Stevenson. Right, Ronnie Stevenson. I will blank the screen, and I will say, this is the man that's asked for this. And see how you go. Square sausage, mushrooms, black pudding, fruit pudding, beans, leeks, toast, plum tomatoes, lashings of HP sauce. Uh, that's what we like. And sunny, healthy, wishy. Scotty, everybody will move, move it to wishy. You've just shoved the house prices up in wishy. It's like a driving range in your room. <laughs> Cannabis is a herb. And also a natural cure for some cancers and pain. Well, Alistair, we've no evidence for that. So we've only got your word. Scotty, do you know that a banana is not fruit? It's a herb, says Matthew Roberts. Is this true, guys? Is a banana a herb? Right? Let's find out. I ask you. There we are. Somebody asked if I was a baldy the other day. I thought, a Gary baldy? Now, I'm not a baldy. I've got a good fine head of hair. There's a bit of a shine coming off me tonight, though. That red boot behind you, Scotty, that must be, this is your life, says Brian Wilson. Yes, Eamon Andrews, absolutely. Do you know, when I was down south, I used to drink in a wee pub called The Three Tons. It was right at the gate of Windsor Castle. And uh, because of Prince Harry's wedding, apparently it's been renamed the Prince Harry. But it was The Three Tons. It goes way back to the 1500s. 
and there was a, a lovely, lovely man that ran it. We called him Uncle Tom, and his name was Tom Evans. And he'd been on This Is Your Life. He would let you see the book. It was behind the bar. And he would let you see This Is Your Life book. And Tom Evans, his claim to fame was he was a prisoner of war. And he went round the corner for a smoke one day, round the corner of the shed in Nagasaki, and the bomb went off. And Tom survived it. So there you are. So if anybody's watching and you know what was the three tons uh, at the gate to Windsor Castle in Windsor, obviously in Windsor, and um, that's one of McClue's old uh, drinking haunts. And um, Uncle Tom, if anybody remembers Uncle Tom, he survived the Nagasaki bomb. So there you are. And my father and him got chatting because my father went into Hiroshima just after that bomb had gone off. I don't think they would even have protective clothing behind you. There we are. Ah, that puts you lot on and off. Bananas must do some good. You rarely see a grumpy monkey. There you are. Oh, McClure. McClure's a banana man. I'm bananas. Uh, chicken dog food. You can't even beat it. A light switch, says Karen Mercury. Yes, maybe that's why the lights are so bright. Aha! Hang on. I'll operate this, right? We'll see what happens. Ah! I think we've got the solution, guys. Too bright a light. Well done. Who came up with that one? What genius came up with that idea to put out the lights? John Gray, dinky do. Angela Goodlett, dinky do. Now, are we okay for lighting now? Is it too dark or is it good? There we are. Let me know. Uh, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. So much happening. Can you see a thing in here apart from the light in front of me? It was me, says McHare. Well done, McHare. A big, uh, we'll give you the clap, dear. Well done. Excellent stuff. Funny, says Carol Patterson. Hi, City, Shaky in Edinburgh. Night, big man, Sir George Finlay. Night, George. Thanks for joining us in Dinky Do. Make sure you share everything. Tune in to 96.3, guys. Scotty, do you remember your first ever radio broadcast? Yes, I was nine. So there you are. I was nine when I first broadcast on the radio. So that must be, wait till we see, nine from 34. Yes, so there you are. So 25 years ago. Marvellous stuff. There we are. Um, I've already got the claps. Stop that. Uh, have you got enough CDs, says Craig? Well, enough to see us through until 10 o'clock, Craig, depending what you're wanting. Peter Martin, long time no see. Good to see you again, Scotty. And you, Peter. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, I say. Remember, Scotty McClure is going back on mainstream radio on FM 96.3 on Friday the 28th of September. Can every single one of you like Nation Radio's page, Nation Radio Scotland, right? Look it up. Just put the wee magnifying glass search. Don't do it just now. You'll lose my clue. Nation Radio Scotland and just click like on the page. Excellent stuff. And uh, stop the smoking. I hate it, says Anne-Marie Crone. Yes, Anne-Marie, excellent. Have a dance with your granny and your auntie Fanny, says Paul McCulley. Very good advice, Paul, sound advice. I remember you on Scott FM, Scotty. Back in the 90s, says Brian Wilson. Well done, Brian. December 94, we started Scott FM. And we took them from 3,000 people listening to almost quarter of a million uh, per half hour. Uh, liked Nations Radio, says Margaret MacDonald. Listen to it, Margaret. It's wonderful music. You can just have it on all day and all night, and it sounds great. You know, some radio stations you think, oh, I've had enough of that. This one, you don't have any of that. It's fabulous, fabulous music. Uh, where should he say Derek's got withdrawal symptoms? I don't know. I can't share this says Peter Martin. You should be able to share it, Peter. Absolutely. Should I sit back a bit, guys? Am I causing a problem? Now, am I in the dark? How does that look to you at home? 
Feeling guilty, 35 minutes late, says Mark Andrews, but good evening. Good evening to you, Mark Andrews, and you're very, very welcome. You're always better late than never. Scotty must have took you ages. It didn't took me, it would have taken me ages to put these books in alphabetical order. But you've put chiropractic lives before chiropractic likes. So there you are. It's amazing, you know. Um, I remember when I was sorting out my spice rack and somebody said, uh, you know, how do you find the time? And I said, it's just up there next to the rosemary. <laughs> and the saffron. So there we are. Uh, who is it that does oh, I missed that. She's a fine wee lass, a bonny wee lass. It's bonny wee Jeannie McCall. Yes, I gave her my mother's engagement ring in a bonny wee tartan shop. I met her at a wedding in the cooperative hall. She was, sorry, I was, what was that? I was, la, 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 and she was the belle of the ball. There we are, I'll have to think about it. Get your coat, says Matthew Roberts. Margaret MacDonald, dinky do, I say. Excellent, you all enjoyed that spice joke, so don't pretend that you didn't. All right, there you are. And you know my jokes. They don't necessarily get any better. I went into the doctors. I said, can you help me out? He said, which way did you come in? All that kind of stuff. So there we go. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Can we have a share, please, guys? Best lad, says Margaret McDonald. She's getting a smile here. Ian Walker says, lol. I'll tell you that. I was the da-da-da-da. Who was that one? Give me that one. But I find me last of Bonnie and last is Bonnie with Jenny McCall. Uh, I, I met her at a wedding in the cooperative hall. I was the I was the best man, and she was the belle of the ball. Thank you, Brian Wilson. Good for you. I was the best man, and she was the belle of the ball. There we are. Um, lad or lol. Excellent. Tony Richardson, dinky do. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Can everybody share, please? Yes. He was the best lad and I was the belle of the ball. Depends who's singing it. I was the best man and she was the belle of the ball. Bonnie Wee, Jeannie McCall. Do you remember my big Kilmarnock bonnet as I run to catch the train? Wonderful. Is it Lord Rockingham that does your radio theme tune? Hootsman, Tony Mac, yes. Lord Rockingham's 11. Came out, I think, about 1956. 56 or 57. Excellent stuff. Karen Mercury, Dinky Doo from Scotty McClure. And uh, Stephen Mooney is watching. Excellent. <coughs> Pardon me, my dears. Um, Stephen Mooney, wonderful stuff. Have I told you all I'm going back on the radio, Nation Radio Scotland, and it's live for two hours between 10 and midnight. How amazing is that? And if we can do a bit of Facebook for you, we'll do that. Hello, says Craig Fitzpatrick. Hello, Craig Fitzpatrick. All of these, Craig, so there you are. Everybody calls me Scotty. Hello, just join, says Caleb Nicholson. Welcome, Caleb. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, I say to every single one of you. Now, have we shared and shared? Can you share to your groups? Right click on the um, URL at the top of my page. Send that round. Say we're watching Scotty McClure. Uh, you're welcome, Caleb. No problem at all. Thomas Hamilton, lots of smiles. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Am I bright enough, guys? Can you see me? I don't mean am I bright enough up here. Can you see me okay without lighting? Hi, Scotty. I had a doll when I was wee called wee Jeannie McCall, says Kerry Duncan. Excellent, Kerry. I've never heard of that. Thank you for sharing. And a kiss from Kerry Duncan, dinky do, and a kiss back to you. Fantastic from Scotty McClure and everybody who's on here live. The new. Uh, see you fine, says Karen. Good. Yes, and Karen. We had a wee problem with the lighting tonight. Funny stuff. I think the camera adjusts itself. So when you adjust the lighting, the camera then readjusts. It's my birthday today, Scotty, says my care. I am 63 years young. Could you possibly sing happy birthday to me? I would, my hair, but happy birthday's got a copyright, so I'll not sing happy birthday. I'll just, in fact, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll sing it silently. Are you ready? Everybody join in. A silent birthday for my hair, Peverell, 63 today. So there we are. Great to have you back there. We thank you for that. So here we go. Are you ready? Good for
folks, well done and silent applause. There we go, there we go. The clap for you, excellent stuff. The life's all fine. Wonderful. Doing the hills to Pennon. Never again, I had to go back up. So there's somebody been up at Banff and Macduff. I know exactly where you are. Turn the sound up, says Matthew Roberts. No, we were having a silent happy birthday. So we didn't break the copyright. You know what I mean? The, uh, the copyright on the song Happy Birthday. We had a silent happy birthday and then a big round of silent applause, which is known as the quiet clap. So excellent. Turn it up, full stop. Uh, so it's Rex for Balerno, Graham McCleary Jr. Dinky Do. Excellent stuff, Scotty. You're a nutter, says Brian Wilson. Not a doll, Brian Wilson. So there you are. Absolutely. I've got a certificate to say I'm sane. <laughs> so, ha, have you? <laughs> there, I've got you there, big style. Right, uh, wonderful stuff. Uh, keep your calls coming, guys. Uh, oh, keep your calls coming. Listen to me. That's me getting into phone-in mode already. Uh, my wife is up the McDuff. Says Eddie Doby Sr. Oh, she's from that area, is she? So there we are. Any more of that and you'll get bam forth this program. I'll tell you that. Mark Schaefer's watching. Thank you, dear Mark. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome. Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, first lord of the internet. We're live on Facebook Live. That is the big one. Big Alan B starting at Kilmarnock tomorrow, says Matthew Roberts. We wish him well. So there you are. Excellent stuff. And um, what have we got? Never have been Scotty, says Brian Wilson. So there you go. Hi, Scotty, says Bridget Nish. Bridget Nish, lovely to have you with us. What a lovely name, Nish. So there we are. Wonderful. And is there not a Mac Nish as well? I think so. And a Clan Leash. Uh, or is it Klein Leash? So there we go. I will never forget the day I read a book. It was contagious, 70 pages. There were pictures here, and they weren't hard to bear the day I read a book. Isn't that lovely? Uh, wonderful stuff. Stuff the copyright. We're a team, Scotty. Okay, we've just sung you a lovely, silent, happy birthday and giving you the quiet clap. Oi, oi, Scotty, dinky-doo, says Scott Beanie, dinky-doo, Scott. Lovely to have you with us. Peter McAllister, he taught me at my school. Uh, Zoe Campbell. So there we are, wonderful stuff. Thank you, says Bridget Nish. Thank you, Bridget, and dinky-doo, I say to every single one of you. Wonderful things happening on here, guys. Tremendous to hear you. So there we are. What a wonderful, wonderful program. I get overwhelmed with humility, right? You'll like that. You think, oh, humility, I good one. Good one, McClue. I get overwhelmed with humility when I realize just how far the influence of this program goes. Um, a gentleman phoned me up and he was a chaplain at one of the big football clubs and he had the funeral of somebody who was a big caller to Scotty McClue's nightline 20 years ago. There we are, 21 years ago. And he said, uh, he, he's just died, he was a big fan. Can I pass on your regards to the family? You know, it, it, it's, it's absolutely heartbreaking, you know. Uh, what on earth is a book something? Do you have any books out, Scotty? Kerry, I have got books that you can barely move for books. I read and read all the time. That's how I can educate and inform and entertain you. It's my 40th birthday on the 28th, says Tony Mack. Yes, you'll be on the radio. A great present. Sharish, come on quick. Derek Shaky. Scotty. Oi, oi. Hi, love. Sharish, stinky do. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. Love you, big man, says Lee Carty. Me too, Lee. Dinky do to you, I say. Excellent. So lovely to have you all with us. And uh, I can't get over you not having any ears. How do you manage to keep your glasses on, says my hair. Well, then, what glasses, my hair? There we go. So happy you're back on the radio where you belong, says Stephen Lawrence. Thank you, Stephen. That means a lot. Dino the Doug, will you be sorting out the women drivers, Scotty? Uh, well, it might have changed a bit. Susan Forrest, lovely to have you with us, my darling. Oi, oi, Sharice, says Scott BD. Hello, Sharice, says Wendy Walker. Everybody's welcoming, Sharice. Some eat meat and can eat, and some would eat but want it. But we him eat and we can eat. So let the Lord be thank it. Greg MacArthur. The Selkirk Grace by Robert Burns. Well done. 
Mike McCabe, Dinky Doo. Hello, everyone, says Thomas Hamilton. Hello, Thomas. Uh, can we have another share, please, everybody? Everybody watching right now, just click share and share it around your groups. Hi, all. Scott, my 21st tomorrow, says Sharice. Happy 21st tomorrow, Sharice. Can we all sing Sharice a silent happy birthday? We're ready. After two. One, two. And the silent clap, a round of the silent clap. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Woo! Uh, hello, all. Miss my Scotty. Much love to you, my radio brother, Scotty. Been having radio withdrawal symptoms without you. Not at all, Tony Matt. You never, ever, ever give up. Thank you for your very kind invitation to interview. We will get round to that at some point. Food Bank, Scotty, what are your views? I am very, very sorry that my wonderful country has been driven to food banks, which is political, right? The whole austerity thing, political. So there you are. So that's what I think of food banks. But I'm very glad they're there so that people have got something to put in their tummies. Uh, Willie from Invergowrie's trying, from Invergowrie's trying to, the tastiest pies you'll ever get says Mike McCabe, tasty pies, are they McClue's pies? That's what we wonder. Uh, and there we are, Bridget Niche, Dinky do excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us. Now, guys, uh, what's the time? I can't see the time. Somebody told me to put the lights out. Now I can't see the time. Has anybody got the time on there? You tell us what the time is, please. Goodness sake. Is it about uh, 10 to 10 or something like that? Uh, Chenille, see your Scotty, honey. Dinky do to Chenille. Wonderful stuff. Guys, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster. And those of you who don't know yet, I'm coming back on the radio. Now, a lot of that is your lobbying over the years. Tremendous. So two weeks, Andy Hughes just in my truck leading, leaving for Scrabster and Thurzo. Aye, aye, a pie. 9.48, says Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. That's excellent. Now, you're all out there. There's millions of you out there and one of me. So I think somebody could tell me the time. Gordon Roddy. Hi, Scotty. Just got home after a meal out. Glad to hear you're going back on the radio. Gordon Roddy. Lovely to hear from you. And thank you. You are an inspiration. Gordon Roddy. One of our finest, finest broadcasters in the history of broadcasting. Wonderful. An ITV man, Scottish television virtually from the start. I think it was from the start. Am I right, Gordon? Uh, Michelle Lights wearing black. There we are. Kerry Duncan, dinky do. Uh, Andy, what a night you missed on Friday. Yes, he'll love that. Sure, he's been told of a night he's just missed. Uh, Scotty, my daughter lost her wedding ring at the dancing. Some guy stole it. A week later, she went to buy a pie in the baker's. The very same guy served her. And when she cut into the pie, guess what? Thank you very much. Yes, of course. Uh, Jimmy Reynolds, Dinky Doo, Jim Chavone. Not mince, says Ian Walker. Mince, Ian Walker. I, is it mince or mints? I'm never sure. Somebody says, I'm just going out to get some mints. And I didn't realise it was to freshen their breath, you know. I thought it said, I'm going to get some mints. So there we are, because there was a lad came into the butchers one night and he said, uh, you know, well, just the butcher and I were having a chat. And he said, could I have a mince round? The butcher said, you can do what you like, but I'm closing in five minutes. Uh, if we all join together and help each other, there will be no need for food banks. United we bargain. Dividend we beg. Very good, Greg MacArthur. A glass of water. I raise my water to you. Dinky do, Scotty, says Jimmy Reynolds. Dinky do, Jimmy. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Ah, says Karen Mercury. Some folk talk mints. They certainly do. Scotty might be taking the posh. <laughs> Stuart Ferguson's watching. Been a driver for 26 years. But even my life, something about being skint. Would you ever go on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Scotty McClue? Um, ah, but the problem is, what if you're already a millionaire? <laughs> 
No, only joking, only joking, only joking. There we are. That joke's as old as the hills, but still funny. Which particular one, Karen Mercury? I tend not to tell new jokes if they haven't been tried and tested. So there you are. Mints and tatties. Yes, yes. You know, the one with the the one with the beer on them. So there we are. Excellent stuff. No, 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 these are old. You know, I put my hand out to stop a bus, but I wasn't strong enough. That sort of thing, you know, that goes on. Special mention for Dundee United ladies record breaking 7 0 victory over Fundy Women, says Mike McCabe. Well, there you go, the kettle bilers up there. Dundee United ladies, the kettle bilers would be in the hoose, and the ladies play the football. Nearly like suits as Ian Walker, I know. Replying to Andy Hughes, Scotty is a millionaire. No, Scotty is the richest man in the world. I just don't have any money. There you go. Uh, no, the song in your library, says Ian Walker. Oh, which part of the library, Ian Walker? It's about time the government funded the air ambulance, says Steve Burrows. I think it's about time the government funded a few things because the government's us. It's our money. So there you are. And I wouldn't mind funding the air ambulance. Five Tonians says Sharice, excellent, but what now, boys? I hope Irish, Tina, Irish Tina comes back, Irish, there's a, I can see that there, hope Irish Tina comes back, or Tina with a fray up, I hope Tina does, uh, mince and tatties and haggis mixed, mmm, Paul Kyra, dinky do, rich with knowledge, says Margaret MacDonald, that's all you need, Margaret, the money's trimmings, you can take the knowledge with you, you can't take the money with you, so there you are, so it's, it's like the guy that met this guy, and he said, uh, I think um, I'm worth quite a lot more than you, and he said, no, but our graves will be the same size. Oh, rich people don't like that, do they? You're right, Scott, this is Kerry Duncan. Thank you, do. John Hanlon. Lovely to have you with us. Guys, I'm blessed with people like you lot. So there you are. Thinking of building high-rise prisons. How's the fox? The fox, I haven't seen the fox very well. I hope he's okay. Don't need the money to be happy. Friends, family, and you're the richest man in the world. Absolutely. I don't like haggis says Wendy Walker. Well, don't eat it then. Leave it to the side of the plate and have the tripe. Uh, books are knowledge and knowledge is power. Look here, 100%. That's one of Scotty McClure's. Knowledge is power. 954, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Excellent, Thomas Dinky do. What do you think of um, something, Scotty, cool guy, Kerry Duncan? Excellent, Kerry. Uh, one of the stuff difficult to see because the stuff's going up so fast tonight. Um, there's going to be a hard border round Kirkcaldy if we crash out the EU. Uh, Peter Martin, oh no, deleted him long ago, says Gail Nash. So I don't know who she's talking about, she's talking to somebody else. I've got three foxes round my truck now. I'm fitting them a piece. You've spelled peace uh, the right way, but the wrong way for that. And Haggis for tea, Peter Martin's laughing. Derek Haggis and Neeps. So there you are, Derek likes his Haggis and Neeps. Now, guys, very, very quickly, because we're very short of time. Um, this is show 112. Spend your week sharing it, sharing it, sharing it. Spend tonight sharing it. Go on to Nation Radio Scotland and like their page. People go, where's the link, Scotty? Put it into the wee thing with a magnifying glass at the top of your Facebook, right? That's what it's there for. Nation Radio Scotland, and click like. Excellent. Scotty, can I get an IOU? Sharice, yes, already you've got IOUs. So there you are. Knock, knock. So there we go. Yuck, haggis, says Kerry Duncan. Well, Haggis speaks very highly of you, Kerry, so less of it. Haggis and a fried egg and a roll, says Andy Hughes. I mean, you're a big trucker, Andy. You're like your, your tucker. This is a trucker who likes his tucker. I don't think I'll go on with the rhyme. Uh, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can. Good night, pal. Have a good week, says Thomas Hamilton. You too, Tom. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, not going to get Nation in Newcastle. Yes, you are, Stephen. You'll get it online. Excellent stuff. Uh, Cast the Bears watching, says Mike McCabe. Absolutely. Is Hercules still about? Or did Hercules pass on? Remember Hercules the bear who was on the run? Uh, Willie Cahoon, all right, Scotty boy. Absolutely, Willie. Dinky-doo. 
haggis and he mentions a, a, a drink. I'm a veggie, Scotty, says Gary Duncan. Well, you can have veggie haggis, Gary Duncan. Very nice. I tried it once. Near accordion, Scotty. Have you seen the light? It's on the top of your bonnet. <laughs> now, I'll do the old Edward Heath laugh, remember? <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Uh, Andy is a trucker. 10-4 over. Absolutely. What am I hitting you with? 1-9 for a rig check, Cherise. Smokey on your tail. Big orange bandit. Trailing, trailing. Wonderful stuff. Right, who have we got? Oh, says Gary Duncan. Oh, yes. Yes, the vegetarian haggis. Gary Duncan. Another great show again, says Stevie Burrows. Dinky new Stevie. Lovely to have you with us. Dick Morrison. I'm a tad late tonight, Scotty. Better late than never, says Neil O'Gormley. I agree, Neil. So there we go. Haddington, what was that one? Please don't go, Scotty. No amounts of cajolery, no attempts at ethical social seduction can eradicate from my heart a deep burning hatred. So there you are. Get rid of any deep burning hatred. It will eat you up. Hate nothing. You're shutting off an avenue of learning. Scotty. I'm no happy, I'm just on and you're going. I know, Sharice, 9.57, says Thomas Hamilton. I've got to go in three minutes, guys. So there you are, three minutes, and then I have to go. McClue has to go. So there we are. But uh, I'll say, do you want a tune on the squeeze box? And I'll get the squeeze box up and give you a wee tune for all of you. How about that? <laughs> Respect, Scotty Nosta. Scotty says, Julianne Scott, lovely to have you all with us, guys. And dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. I'll see you all next Sunday night at nine o'clock sharp. And remember, Friday the 28th of September and Saturday the 29th, 96.3 FM in Scotland. Get on their nation, Radio Scotland. Scotty McClue is back with you on the radio saying Dinky Do. Did you get the Corey's song? Yes, I did. I love it. Never late in a V8. Shepherd's Pie tomorrow, says Wendy Walker. That's better uh, than your piano. Yes, wonderful stuff. Good night, all. Another great show, says Steve Burrows. Absolutely please, says Kerry Duncan. Wonderful. And come on the radio and listen to Scotty McClure. Scotty, respect you, pal. Have a blessed, safe week. TC, pal, sing the song. Right, are we ready? Here we go. Good night, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of wheat or zane, au revoir, and a cheery o. Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to all of you, and ta-ta the new.